like he is back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Reunited. And it feels so this, good. I'm sorry, but we I, have yet to approach how amazing this was. That was... Uh, I still have his gentleman, too. That was freaking great. Oof. That was freaking... Oof. Oof. Great. Oof. Can I just say the joy that this brings me? It's like... This I can't even... A human being accomplish that. It's pretty, pretty mental. He was born in Baltimore in June of 1985. I'm not saying the date because I don't want to get it wrong. Michael's back. We sort of had a feeling that he was coming and back. This is not like it completely came out of nowhere. I think we've right. known for almost you know, the last 11 months and two weeks that this was a possibility. Right. But it's the confirmation. And it's just the excitement that comes with it. Because obviously, I mean, at least for me, I got interested in swimming following this you know i knew of him before from the previous from from athens but i wasn't as into it and then obviously everything that was on tv was all about michael phelps beijing the eight gold medals and it's just you how could you not get totally swept up in that and he's back and people have some mixed feelings about it i'm super excited but i feel like there's always another part of my brain that's thinking about it from another perspective so i get that some people are feeling like you know, all the attention is going to go to him. These other people are not going to get as much attention. But on the same token, swimming in general is going to get way more attention because let's be honest, most people. The are The New not York Times was sent to me to Arizona. Like, hi, hi. What's going on? Today's show. Glad you woke up. Um, can I ask a? So all this secret keeping, Bob. What were? What's under that hat? It's also really nice to see them together because there's a lot of these, you know, these things that sort of like when you're in this fan community are very significant. So like Bob and Michael together, Michael and Ryan together. And, you know, there was obviously it was very emotional. I remember Michael talking about like the last practice and Bob was crying and he was crying, but he had goggles on so he couldn't see the tears. I'm getting a little emotional thinking about it. Well, like, eyes. we would never have met, probably, which is, like, really unthinkable to me it's now. It's really crazy. And I think, like, you know, Michael, like many before him, even in other sports, it's like, he just transcends the sport of swimming and is in that very elite group of people that have just really reached, you know, an apex of achievement that right. not many people have. And I feel like I've gotten so much out of it. I mean, what it really started is a sort of crazed, like, obsession. Is sort of like I've just really grown to really be so interested and love the sport so much. And, like, the more we've gotten to know people, like, I think swimmers in general are, you know, sort of interesting. But then everyone's kind of, you know, different and has got their own different things going on and other interests. And it's just like yeah. I'm home. You know, there's been a couple of things coming out now. People are sort of looking at both sides, like, you know, the positives versus the negatives. And one of the negatives potentially is, you know, tarnishing his legacy, which I'm sorry. This happened. So unless he literally belly flops into the water and sinks <laughs> to the bottom, it can't. And then just in terms of his legacy, Eve made an interesting point about potential future Olympic appearances. Yes. Oh, so um, one thing I think it was Dax Hill tweeted, he was like, oh, all y'all who are hoping to, like, carry the Olympic flag into the opening ceremonies in Rio, like, sit down. And I have always been of the belief, even after 2004, that Michael, in his, in our lifetime, you know, assuming the Olympics get back to the United States, which could be, so, like, soon, not as soon as we'd like, but, you know, sooner in the 2024 20, cycle, since I think the American bid cities are as serious as they've been since Chicago. Um, I, Michael's going to light the cauldron. Like, that's, to, I mean, you can't, he has won the most medals of anyone, and it's fair to say that I think that's going to stand for a while. So I, I will be, I don't know what, I mean, sobbing. I will be sobbing. When you watch people that are at this level, they sort of come to represent much more than themselves. It's not just about Michael Fred Phelps getting this. It's like America. It's about succeeding. It's about heart. It's about 
hardship and triumph and it just becomes this very emotional experience to watch and it's just it's gonna be feels so right that it can't be wrong and Debbie is going to Rio, y'all. Oh my god. No matter like, like she, what. Like she never was not Debbie going. Debbie's going to Rio. Mama, I'm Mama, okay. get, Mama gets what she wants. DP she gonna wants... be doing the samba. Gonna be freaking chilling in a five-star hotel. Mm -hmm.